Hello everyone, and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Senior Applications Engineer, and in this video we're going to show you how to use the scale command to address some common model scale issues. Now I love the scale command because it's one of the simplest tools to use in SOLIDWORKS, and it can be leveraged to solve a number of common issues from adjusting for shrinkage and injection molded parts to resizing imported models. In this quick demonstration, we're going to fix an issue our team has encountered many times in technical support how to fix a model that was designed in the wrong system of units. For this example, I've got a milled part that I had originally intended to design in inches. Unfortunately for me, I didn't realize I had chosen the millimeters template when I started, and now I've got a beautifully designed and finished part ready for programming that's about the size of my fingernail. Now I could remodel the whole part from the ground up with the proper units, and truth be told, that's really the best solution here. But it's 4.45 p.m. on a Friday, and who's got time for that? So what do we do? Now you may think that simply switching the system of measurement would solve this issue, but in doing so you'll find that SOLIDWORKS actually converts the original dimensions into the proper values for the new units. Now this behavior is intentional, but unfortunately it doesn't solve our problem since we'd like to change the units of our design without changing the actual values. This is where the scale command comes in. Simply start up the scale command, which can be found in the insert menu, then features, then scale, and input the proper scaling factor into the property manager. In a simple case like this, scaling about the centroid with uniform scaling checked on will do nicely, but you do have options here. If you prefer, you can scale your model about the origin or another defined coordinate system of your choosing, and you can also disable uniform scaling to apply the scale command with different scaling factors in different coordinate system directions. For now, I'll simply keep the default settings and apply a scaling factor of 25.4 which is the number of millimeters in an inch. Once complete, I'll find my model significantly larger, as expected, and I'm ready to begin my CNC programming. And that's really all there is to it. Keep in mind, however, there are a few things to consider when using the scale command. First, you'll notice that a scale feature now exists in the design tree. This means that editing any feature prior to the scale feature will show the original geometry, which may be significantly smaller or larger than the post-scaling model, and this can be a little bit confusing. Additionally, if you create any drawings of your model after the scaling feature is applied, the model items command for importing dimensions and annotations automatically is essentially useless, as it'll attempt to attach the annotations to their pre-scaling locations. However, the smart dimension tool should work just as expected, and the drawing may still be detailed manually. While we always recommend checking your documents for proper units before starting the design process, in this video we showed how to use the scale command to convert a part designed in millimeters to inches while retaining the original dimension values. How do you handle design hiccups like this? Do you have any other fun use cases for the scale command? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe, and visit us at hawkridgesys.com for new SOLIDWORKS tech tips every week. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.